the Autodromo Nacional Monza as the manufacturers wage all-out war in an attempt to come out on top. The Nissan proving true. Racing 17, how will he get off the line, though? That is the big question. Will Ant take advantage with that Corvette muscle? The star-spangled livery joined by the similarly white, black and red Gumball CGT in the Mercedes. We are racing, and it's a decent start actually there from Racing 17. Okay, off the line, but even better off the line was that Corvette of Ant Turismo Lester as well. In the Dodge, flying up the inside, he's at the best start of them all. He breaks late into turn one, and Racing's been punted off, I think. I think by Ant there in the back. Nico Watt picking up a 4.9 second penalty, and it is no cleaner than the EMEA race, Turismo Leicester. Tell you what, it's an omen, potentially a good one for him. We're seeing a, a, re a reaction to that there as Gumbel understeered a bit off, put a rear wheel on to the, or say that, we'll come back to that in a second, he now <laughs> comes up the inside of Sycorus, I think he's just turned the engines up and gone, you know what, I'm coming through now, I've had enough of this. God, look how much penalty yeah. he's got though as well. But why do that? Yeah, nine second penalty at this point. Um, just picking it up, it seems, every lap a little bit more, a little bit more. Before you know it, you've got to give up 10 seconds. Of two cars in front right now, he's got no penalty, so he'll be thinking, right, OK, these guys are going to let me pass. Look at this, a Citroen is standing still by comparison. He'll dive to the inside here. <laughs> Easy peasy, thank you very much, sir. Hellfire serves a penalty to get out of the way there, and now it's right on the back of the AMG in front. Hellfire, all sorts of sideways on exit, but we're back to IOF Racing now. Again, coming on to the pit straight. Let's see what sort of difference there is in a straight line here between the AMG and the GTR. That's the difference right there. Here comes the train <laughs> up to the inside. Thank you very much, says IOF Racing. You've just been passed by a flying brick. Now breaking down the T1, move down IOF Racing, who went as far down as P15, is now back up to P4. What a recovery. Looks to the inside now, the parabolic of this could be it. Leicester flashes his lights to say, oh, I know you're there, but don't worry about it. And goes to the inside, move made, but now roles have been reversed. He is the last of our pitters overall, so the only man to stay out on that lap, with the exception of Die Godlike, who's dead last and is way removed from this action. Turismo Leicester now tucked up into the reverse slipstream. Is he going to go down the inside, or does he not have enough grunt? I don't think he does. And in fact, he stays behind Ant and doesn't gain anything on or into that penalty. Ant, he's got that position locked down. What he's going to try and do is he's going to try and take the slipstream of both of these guys and Ant with a massive slip himself on the inside. That could be the opportunity that Racing needs. Onto the home straight then. Here comes Racing, picking up a double slipstream. Here goes Lester to the outside, but Racing 17, There's he's no going to try there. and find the inside. He doesn't and cuts off the door before it's opened and into the inside of the Reds affiliate Ant will go but racing he sees an opportunity he tries to go around the outside muscles. Lester muscles him out and just about keeps on for now but racing picks up a penalty I think that's harsh now still doing it through there comes to the start finish line to take the manufacturer's victory for Corvette a great race by FT Ant he got away with a penalty in turn one but sometimes you need that luck in racing, and Ant made it stick. The Corvette wins here in Monza, and 3,441 points earned towards his championship course.